Hello, trans surfer and the trans surfing curious. My name is Renee Garcia, guys, and this is Trans Surfing TV. And today on Trans Surfing TV, one of my favorite types of lessons to give, a lesson that I sort of come up with right before I give it. I actually came up with this earlier today because I experienced this thing that I'm going to talk about today so so vividly, so viscerally, and I just was amazed. I was absolutely amazed, and I thought, oh my God, I gotta absolutely give this lesson today. And this idea, in a flash, this is about your ability as a reality transurfer to completely change your experience of reality in a single moment and it's shocking, right? Even six years in, and I said something about this on the Facebook group this morning, even six years in, it absolutely amazes me that as a human being, I have the power and the control to change my experience, to completely and radically change my experience in a single freaking moment. It is mind-blowing. And I kind of like <laughs> feel a little bit bad for my past version of myself, my pre-trans serving self that didn't have the tools or the abilities to do this or didn't even know that this was a possibility. You know, I would be just sucked in to something and completely spiral down and not catch myself and fall down a very deep, dark hole at times. And I don't have, I don't have to ever go through that again. This is a new option for me that like I can stop myself and change it all in a flash. And for those of you that know what it is I'm talking about and have experienced it, it is absolutely, I think we could collectively agree, one of the biggest gifts that reality transurfing has offered us, our ability to turn it all around in a single moment. For those of you that are new to transurfing or new to this channel, this is definitely something that's in the cards for you. And it's awesome and it's available and it's powerful and it's fun and it's magical. So this video is going to be on how to do this exactly. And maybe you experienced this once as a trans server before or a few times, but you don't necessarily have the formula down and want to know how to do it whenever you want, but it's, it's there. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes to do. And you never have to go on an induced transition ever again if you don't want to. You never have to feel a state of depression ever again unless you want to, right? And you go into it with awareness and also knowing at the same time that with these tools and with this formula that I'll talk about today, that you can come right out of it when you choose. It's like you truly do create your own reality. Before I get started, remember to subscribe and like this video and comment below. I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this one. If this is something that you have experienced and you know what it is I'm talking about, raise your hand and, you know, put a few words down below and say, this has been my experience of it. Or if I'm leaving something out that will assist others in the switch over, right? The instant switch over. Um, Facebook, join us on the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group and the courses Reality 2.0 and Tufty 2.0 down below. Check it out. So enough of that in a flash. So five easy steps. This is sort of what happened naturally for me today. And I decided to just give what I did to sort of bounce out of what was going to be an induced transition. So let me start off by saying what happened to me. Well, I woke up this morning and for the first time in a very long time, I would say at least a few years, I felt this feeling of monotony, right? Monotony and kind of like a mild 
sense of dread. I was like, oh, I don't want to be on my phone manning my social media. I don't want to make videos. I don't want to engage. I, I don't want... You know, one of the things that has been a challenge for me to get over in doing what I'm doing with this community is like the endless repetitive questions. You know, how do I get a husband? How do I, how do I, how do I um, make a specific person fall in love with me? How do I win a million dollars? How do I win the lottery? It's like over and over and over and over. And I've had lots of them recently, and it just kind of like begins to sort of weigh me down. Like people aren't getting it if they're still asking these kinds of questions. And this can bring me to this state, exactly what I experienced this morning where I wake up. And you may experience this in some other way. Maybe it's just your... Your kids just being relentless with you or somebody being relentless with you, a boss or a, you know, coworker or something where you just wake up and you feel like, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore, right? I don't want to do it anymore. And again, that focal point being on what you don't like that focal point being on what isn't working, what is causing your reality to sort of be glitchy and um, your experience of it to not be ideal. And you have the power now to acknowledge exactly when this is happening. So this is what I came to this morning. Renee, stop what you're doing Follow what you know, right? Follow the system that you have that's available to you and know that you can come out of it. You can change it all in a flash. So this is the intention that I set for myself. And this is exactly where the first step is. Before you go into the five steps, you got to first just like set the intention that you know something's up and you're setting the intention to come out of it, right? So set the intention, I'm turning this all around in a flash. And then you go into step one, which is assess where you were at and why you are there. This is a big one. Um, this really has to do a lot of times with pendulums, right? Because again, a pendulum can sort of make us lose ourselves where, you know, like they say that the uh, mosquito like puts some kind of, or when something stings you or bites you, there's some kind of, um, thing that's released from the bug that will take the pain away on that specific location so you don't actually feel the whatever it is going into you. This is exactly what happens with pendulums, right? It it has a very um a very manipulative and a very like very sneaky way to get in there. And once it's in there, you can lose yourself and not really be totally aware of where you are at and what is happening to you. So as soon as you can acknowledge when your emotional state or your state of being or your mindset is on the decline and you realize this with lucidity, the first step is to assess where you're at and why this is happening. So again, with me this morning, perfect example, I felt as though the social media pendulum was like taking a little too much or something was happening to me via all of the, all of the outside like entities that I'm connected with were getting a little more from me than I was getting in return and I needed to rebalance that deal out, right? Re renegotiate that deal. But first, I need to make certain that like I'm properly assessing myself 
and what it is that I am currently experiencing. And again, it even is just as simple as changing a thought in my mind that allows me to understand what it is I'm in business with and why I am in business with it in the first place, rather than putting myself in the position of a victim or somebody that is getting something taken from them, right? Does this make sense? So this is typically how the induced transition happens. The pendulum lulls you to sleep somehow and you forget who you are, where you are, and why you are there. And you put yourself into the position of a victim and sort of start that spiral down to some of those lower lifelines that induce transition. Calling it out and understanding exactly what the scenario is and why you are in the center of this scenario is a good way to write yourself back up to a position of power and strength and you are the one that is in control of your reality. So step two, I see myself and I see my reality. Is this hurting me or is this helping me? So this is exactly the place I arrived to this morning. I woke up, I felt a little bit depleted, but then I, you know, assessed where I was and why I was there. I see myself, I see my reality. Is this current emotional state or this way that I am feeling right now, is it going to help me towards my immediate endeavors, my long-term endeavors, the trajectory that I have um, created for myself, or is it going to help me? Now, sometimes it absolutely is pertinent to take a break, right? I'm not trying to advocate for not taking a break. It a hundred percent is, but there are other times where you can like be rubbed the wrong way. The pendulum rubs you the wrong way and you allow a process to occur where you get pulled away from your intention. And the intention again could simply be you just enjoying your life or enjoying your day. It doesn't need to be anything massive or big or meaningful. Maybe it's just that your layer of reality is going to go down a couple of notches, right? So is that state of being, is that emotional state helping you or hurting you towards whatever you're intending in that moment, short-term, or long-term, right? Three, acknowledging that you have a choice. This is a big one, and this is exactly like that that very defining moment. Wait a second, this isn't what I want to experience right now. This isn't helping me. Um, This isn't the state of being that I want to, to, to be in for the duration of the day. And realizing in that moment that I can make a choice to have a different experience. This is so unbelievably powerful. It's like once you've mastered this, your ability to acknowledge that you have another choice and then take that other choice, this is when you start the process of switching over. So for me, It happens in a moment, right? I'm sitting there, I'm having my coffee. I'm like, wait a second, something just doesn't feel right. Really checking in with myself. Is this helping me? Is this hurting me? And then deciding, no, I'm not going for this. I'm absolutely not going for this. I am going to make a different choice. And now I'm going to move on with my choice, right? This brings me to four, get moving and switch over. So past self, the self that was totally susceptible to constant induced transitions, would give in to this negative state of being, this negative feeling, this this downward trajectory, right? Eh, I might as well just stay in bed. Oh, I'm going to watch some like shitty TV. I'm going to eat some junk food. You know, I'm going to do things that aren't healthy for me or my reality. And again, sometimes take a break and do some of these things 
if you're doing them with awareness. But my pre-trans serving self absolutely was not doing these things with awareness. And I would feed this negative state. I would feed this induced transition. So in order for me to sort of bounce out and not feed it at all, I have to get myself moving in the other direction. And how I did that this morning is I actually just did what I normally do every morning, go for my run, go for my live stroll and not allow myself to go, nah, I'm not going to work out today. I'm just going to stay in bed. I'm not going to film anything. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give into this state. I, I make that little push to continue in that direction of that higher lifeline in the direction of my higher self. And oh my God, while I was out for my run this morning, it felt so amazing. I felt like I was totally high. I felt as though I had started the switch over, right? And in this period of time, an hour and a half while I was out exercising, I was just like in total bliss. I was blissed out. I felt as though I had cracked the code, right? I had hacked the matrix. I had an opportunity presented to me via my awareness, I see myself, I see my reality, to move in a direction that was outside of how it would normally go for me. And when I say normally, you know, this is still me comparing my mind now to how my mind operated six, seven years ago. So it's it's a process, right? And the induced transition happens less and less and less. When it starts to occur now, I catch it quicker and quicker and quicker, and I can make the switch over even more, like more extreme, crazier, right? Like I just switch and start moving. And in this, in this sensation, there is such an amazing benefit of feeling as though I can do anything, right? I can take control of the situation and move myself in the direction of that choice. Five, continue to fuel the new choice. So I get home and I'm feeling like high as a kite, right? I'm doing it. I'm actually transurfing my reality. I'm choosing a new variation of reality and I'm taking the action towards that version of reality. And this, this is maintained this evolution right this um this this exponential sort of movement is maintained by me continuing to fuel this new choice i can't just for a few minutes do something and then allow myself to fall back it's like I gain momentum, I increase my activity, I increase my positive thinking, I increase my movement forward with my day, and it just gets better and better and better and better and better. And now, you know, five, six hours after that moment where I had that, that sort of lowered life track feel, I'm feeling the best I've felt in a while. So you can actually use it, that opportunity where you catch yourself going into that induced transition, you can use it as an opportunity, like a springboard almost to just like jump, right? Jump off of and get yourself moving in a new direction. I actually gave a video on this exact topic. I think it was called 48 hours from induced transition to wave of success. And it is kind of crazy because suddenly my reality has like a whole new look and feel. Even though I was only in that induced state for a brief moment, suddenly I feel as though I am absolutely headed towards that wave of fortune. So it's almost like you use that induced transition as a springboard and using it as a springboard, you can gain more velocity quickly, right? You can really like like push yourself very quickly to some of those higher states of being. And it's, it's like taking drugs without actually having to take drugs. That's what it feels like. It's a freaking trip. So six, to wrap it up, enjoy it, right? Enjoy it because like I just said, it's like 
you've taken a drug, you've caught a high, something is going incredibly well for you instead of what was going to naturally occur if you did not take the tools that you have as a trans server and use them to do this. So enjoy it. Enjoy your ability to move around from state of being to state of being freely. And when you can sort of catch that wave, even if it's an induced transition that has initiated it, ride it and feel it and love it and like, you know, just dive into that RT bliss because that's absolutely what is available to us as trans servers. So do you know what it is I'm talking about? <laughs> or do I sound like a crazy person? I'm definitely interested in hearing your thoughts on this one, guys. And I appreciate you watching my video. See you in a couple days. Bye.